Chinese have launched a massive artificial rain generating project in the Tibetan Plateau using cutting edge defense technology triggering concern in India about its impact in adjoining Northeast. With Assam government planning to move the center for a response and some leaders describing it as Beijing's ecological warfare. The South China Morning Post has reported that China has installed a huge network of fuel burning chambers in the high Tibetan Himalayas to modify the weather and trigger additional rainfall of up to 10 billion cubic meters a year. Thousands of such fuel burning chambers are being put up across the Tibetan Plateau to bring in rains in an area stretching 1.6 million square kilometers or three times the size of Spain. Taking a serious view of the matter, the Assam government said on Wednesday that it would take up the matter with the center as China's plan has the potential to adversely affect the entire ecosystem in India. Assam cabinet minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma, a minister in the Assam cabinet said the Chinese plan deserves condemnation as Beijing has been playing with nature and is even trying to divert the Yarlung Sangpo or Brahmaputra river to bring water to its arid northern areas. Uh, China is already playing with the nature. They, uh, they are trying to divert Brahmaputra. They have done maximum damage to Brahmaputra ecosystem. Now in Tibet, they are, un they are taking another dangerous project which will affect entire uh, entire ecosystem of India. So it will affect Assam, it will affect all other riparian states. So we are very uh, concerned about this. Uh, we will take it up with the government of India and we strongly urge Chinese authority not to play with nature because nature will play, uh, pay back very badly. Talking exclusively to Northeast Live in New Delhi, Jaydev Ranade, former additional secretary in the cabinet secretariat and president of the Center for China Analysis and Strategy said the Chinese plan can have both environmental and military implications for India and has called upon New Delhi to immediately engage with Beijing on the matter. You see China is looking at this from its own perspective where they're talking about huge figures of 6 to 10 billion cubic meters of water suddenly becoming available to the northern part of China, which is water starved, so I understand that. But it has a huge impact on India and certainly on the northeast. Uh, there are two things. One, the seeding which they're going to do is going to result in a lot of rainfall. And uh, it is going to, uh, as you know, that when it rains, temperatures get warmer. Uh, so the normal temperature in the high altitude area of Tibet which is uh, very, very low, it's in the minus 30s, it will increase, leading to an accelerated retreat of the glaciers. Secondly, uh, with additional water flow, the glaciers will start melting in the uh, stream itself, in their bed itself. So this will have its own consequences. For the northeast, the immediate impact will be an increased danger from flash floods and landslides, because that entire area is ecologically fairly uh, uh, new, it's not yet matured. Uh, and secondly, the, in course of time, the flow of uh, water in the rivers, including the Brahmaputra, will reduce drastically. Ranade also pointed out the military impact of China's move. The government of India certainly needs to engage with China on this and start, st and start to talk to them about what they are planning to do and the impact it will have here. And let's not forget, there is a very clear military impact of such action. It is not just for water. Former Assam Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi too expressed grave concern over the latest Chinese initiative in the high Himalayas close to northeast India. What life and death एक्शन नहीं लेगा जो बाद में लेने से क्या फायदा होगा तो हम चाहते हैं जल्दी से जल्दी से प्राइम मिनिस्टर सुट टेक अप विद द लीपिंग जो उसका प्रेसिडेंट है उसका हम लेने को हम चाहते हैं 
इमीडिएटली ले जाए इंडिया का इंटरेस्ट का हम लोग का इंटरेस्ट के पर्टिकुलरली हम लोग का नॉर्थ ईस्ट का इंटरेस्ट का लिए हाउ डू द चाइनीज प्लान टू इंड्यूस रेन्स Well, the fuel chambers, according to the South China Morning Post report, burn solid fuel to produce silver iodide, a cloud seeding agent with the ice-like crystalline structure. The chambers are put on steep mountain ranges facing the moist monsoon from South Asia. The report says as wind hits the mountains, it produces an upward draft and sweeps the particles into the clouds to induce rain and snow. Bureau report not this live